setting up the scene it's not so easy guys it might take some time for me to adjust this and I'm shooting with the pixel 10 pro inside a freezer so I just hope that everything is gonna go smooth the first thing I'm gonna try to test is the geek bench 6 so I'm just gonna run it all right I'm gonna close the freezer and I'm gonna be back here in about like five minutes and it better give me a good result and I really hope that both phones are gonna survive all right let's close the freezer all right it's time for an interim check I hope that when I open the freezer nothing is gonna break yeah all right the pixel is still functioning it's pretty cold inside but I'm not getting any final results guys all right so i'm gonna close the door here and let's keep testing so imagine you are in a place where heat is not an issue i mean what better than the freezer you know with a lot of ice inside so i can tell you it's definitely cold inside so let's see how much we're gonna get from that xiaomi 17 pro and kudos to the pixel if the pixel still keeps recording <laughs> it's a bit icy all right yeah let's close the door and check in five minutes and we have the first result 3608 on the single core score versus 10681 i'm just going to show you the history my first test was 3096 versus 9815 on the, the multi-core score then on the performance mode i got 3589 and 10676 so yeah guys well, you can see that even inside the fridge, this is as good as it gets, all right? So it's scoring just up probably like 5% more. But what I want to do right now is run a wildlife extreme test, a single round and what the results are going to be. So let's check how this is going to end up. And the test is over, guys. I got my temp gun with me. I want to measure some temps. All right, so the phone is at 23, okay? So, yeah, and the surface key <laughs> is zero degree. So, 6,251. All right, I mean, not incredible. My results are here, and you can see that I even got some better loop scores while I was doing this outside. Uh, okay, which is interesting. But now, guys, what I want to do is I want to run the Wildlife Extreme stress test which is gonna give me 20 continuous rounds on this and yeah i want to see the stability rating i guess it's gonna be better of course because remember here inside the fridge yeah actually measures to minus minus 4.3 i think you can see this all right let's close the door and let's fast forward to the results we are in round number five and i want to measure some temps so the phone is at 26 point something guys yes and in the freezer it's still minus five what about the frame rate all right not that bad so i really hope that i'm gonna get like 70 80 stability okay but for this please don't throttle don't throttle on me all right let's close the door we are now about to enter round number 10 and the phone yeah believe it or not but the Xiaomi 17 Pro is touching 25.4. So who knows, maybe you're gonna get to 30. In the regular test in ambient times, this would be already like 41, 42, 3, so 47. And 51 was the maximum internal temp reading recorded by the 3D Mark. So let's just see what is gonna happen on the next checkpoint. We are now in round number 17. And believe it or not, but yep, the 17 pro is already at 32 celsius but at least it seems that the frame rate is still stable three more rounds until we get the final score and we are now in round number 20 guys the phone is at 31.2 so all right it wasn't doing more than 32 i'd expect to see something like 32 33 on the internal temp reading but what i'm looking forward is to reveal the stability score which i guess i'm gonna get in seconds a 79 percent guys this isn't better right let me take both phones out of the fridge and we are going to review the results two very interesting main findings so far the first thing is that the best loop score is lower compared to what i was getting when i was doing this test in ambient temps 
but the lowest loop score was significantly higher than the lowest loop score I was getting with ambient temps, hence leading to a stability of 79.1%. Take a look at the graph. This is how the performance changes in the load. We just have a very small dip here, but overall it's very, very stable. And I think that's totally understood. What about the battery 97% to 84 and 25 Celsius to 39? So the internal temp readings was 39% in an environment that is at least minus five, probably to minus eight. The frame rate 20 FPS to 42 FPS, guys. The battery and the frame rate, I'm gonna put a custom chart here, also put a temperature. Yeah, you can see the graphics are so much better. So what we know right now is that Xiaomi 17 Pro ain't giving that bad result when you're doing this in ambient testing somehow it's tuned probably to just deliver performance like this and i'm using the performance settings and also i removed the additional settings in the battery settings to limit the performance in cold environment so honestly the single core score and the multi-core score in the geekbench things wasn't drastically better this is what i was getting outside like 15 celsius and this is the third result out of the box so before this results and this too of course i installed an update so because there was an update so so honestly guys not that bad i mean it's a bit weird that the best loop score like wasn't so good so for some reason the xiaomi wasn't able to output the best performance and we can see this from here right because i was doing the wildlife extreme one round i was able to get like 6251 but the lowest loop score also was significantly higher see here this is the test i did outside yesterday 6300 on the best loop score but a very low lowest loop score resulting of course with a stability rating of 53 percent so now we know that when we put this thing in the fridge which makes sense we are getting higher stability 79 percent versus the 53 percent point ones so this is what i was able to obtain guys let me know what you think down below in the comments and if you want to check some more videos on the xiaomi 17 pro just check the previous videos thanks so much for watching vst over stay safe bye